Welcome into Alliance Bank Stadium. We are not far from home plate, actually, just that direction. We're down the first baseline a little bit, and you see all of the things outside here. We are outside the Whistle Stop Souvenir Store here at Alliance Bank Stadium, where we've got all things Chiefs and knickknacks and shirts, things like that. And uh, we're going to take a tour inside of this neat little store, and hopefully we can get a guided tour of Hello, there is Wendy Schoen, who's in charge of the Whistle Stop Souvenir Store here. She is our merchandise lady. Do you think you can take us inside? I would love tour? to. First, you... what's going on out here first? We, we see some, some items out here. Tell us about what's going on outside the store. Well, first of all, we like to make it very inviting out here to get you into the store. So first on our list is we have Birdie's Boxcar Bargains. That's very difficult to say. Yes, it is, but it's been a very popular spot. And, uh, you know, naturally it's supposed to be like a little boxcar. So what do we have car. here? We've got, uh, we've got some baseballs, right? At Bergie's Boxcar Bargains, you can find basically anything from your sale items to just regular merchandise in the store. Okay. So on a busy, busy night, if you're looking for that quick item and you don't want to stop in the store, you can grab it at Bergie's. Also, if you didn't realize, uh, Steven Strasburg did pitch here in Syracuse. We've got some trading cards for you right outside here. Let's take a walk inside, shall we? Yes. All right. Don't forget to visit Scooch's Station also, where you can stuff a Scooch. You can stuff a Scooch. You can stuff a Scooch. That's not painful for Scooch, is it? No. So how would you go about doing that? You it's... Can if anybody's been to Build-A-Bear, you will know that it's, it works exactly like Build-A-Bear. So this is our own stuffing machine, and we presently have Scooch, and very soon we will also be having Pops. And so you, you can, can stuff a Pops, pops then? And you have a variety of other animals, and it's very popular with the kids. And one more thing before we do go in is our prize wheel, which is also a popular item with the kids for a dollar spin, and we uh, give them a prize. Could win any number of things. Any you just give it one things. spin, right? Yes. I call this my carnival atmosphere out here. We tend to have a carnival atmosphere up in the radio booth, but for yes. different reasons as well. All right. Let's go on so, into the Whistle Stop Souvenir Store. Welcome to my store. All right. Let's go. There is a reason they call it the Whistle Stop Souvenir Store, right? The trains always chug along. Yes, Jason. It's a very unique part of our store. I think we're the only one in uh, one team that actually has a train running around their souvenir shop, so I'm very proud to have it. It was featured, in fact, at the baseball trade show this past offseason, right? Yeah, it was so wonderful to walk into the trade show and actually see a picture of Whistle Stop Souvenirs with our train running. The one thing they didn't have there, though, which Wendy does have, is controls for the train. She can go back behind her little desk here mm -hmm. if you ask her very nicely really nicely. When you come in here, she might be able to play a couple of sounds. Could you do that for the folks? Sure, sure. Would you like me to do it now, Jason? Oh, boy. Can we pick up audio? I think if Kevin Are comes over trying? here, our disembodied camera guy, Wendy is going to play a couple of sounds from the train here for you. I sort of feel like there's a car accident happening outside it, it the window like here. It's sort of like that, isn't it? What we need to get is the people here in the front office saying all aboard on all that aboard, thing. But yes. we may need to work on that. What's right behind you here? The train. It's behind, a full set now, right? Yes. For the last five years, we've added a different car representing something special about the year. And we're proud to announce that this year we completed it with the caboose, which lights up. And those of you who are train collectors, you can actually have your own Syracuse Chiefs train set. That's very neat. Come over and see it if you get the opportunity to. There's a lot of stuff, Chiefs stuff, here that we can tell you about. Jerseys are right over here. Just about any jersey that you would want to look for, the retro jerseys from last year. I'm partial to the red ones. Well, I know red, red is a great yes. color for you, right? Red is a very popular color in the store. Those are the jerseys. What's really neat is over on the other side of the store, we've got some specialty t-shirts for this season, right? Yes, we do, Jason. We, of course, celebrated our Michael Aubrey four home runs on May 14th, so we're carrying that shirt. What's really neat about Aubrey, if you spin it around, these are all the players who have hit four home runs as either 
current Syracuse players or former Syracuse players. Mark Witten, Sean Green, Carlos Delgado, three of the last five guys to do it in the major leagues. Right here, started in Syracuse, played AAA ball here. It's pretty neat. I know everybody in the clubhouse uh, wanted one of these. They sure did. You were nice enough to give a couple yes. to the staff and yes. some of the players. And, and of everything. course, Mr. Aubrey himself. Well, he's got to get at <laughs> least one. Get one. Uh, this was our motto this year, the quest begins now, and this has also been a very popular shirt here. If we hit the SAP button quickly, we can take a look at this one. This is uh, Los Jefes de Syracuse. We're very proud to now carry a shirt in Spanish, and this has also been a very popular shirt, along with our sign language. So that's Chiefs sure, in this sign is language. Chiefs in sign language. How did you come up with that idea? Well, it's these two shirts here are actually two shirts I saw at the winter meetings, and I thought it was so important to be diversified in the souvenir store, so I thought it would be a great way to add to the merchandise. When we had Latino night at the ballpark last year, and we did our TV simulcast, Roberto Clemente Jr. was here doing the play-by-play. -play. He had a blast. He had great response from it, so I think it's a great idea to yes. do it again. Yes. Yeah, and we'll be doing that simulcast, I believe, again this season coming up in a few months. Tell us what's going on over here. This is some of the retro stuff? This is my retro wall, or Celebrate the Memories. And we are basically carrying logos that we have had through the years. And of course this year our popular logo that we're celebrating is the 1976 Old English S. And on Retro Thursdays the team is actually wearing the Old English S cap and the pinstripe uniform. Governor's Cup championship Governor's team from 1976, Bobby Cox, yes, the manager, former Atlanta Braves skipper. So if you see any of the popular logos that you like through the years, we're going to carry them here in the store. This sort of looks like a lot of guys' stuff, though. Oh, uh, Jason, which seems have a wonderful lady section, which has become more and more popular. I know you're in charge of the ladies of summer. Yes. And we're going to have ladies night summer. coming up soon yes, as well. Yes, we are. One of my favorite nights. What's your best seller on the ladies' wall? I would say probably the Nike merchandise. Uh, Nike is just a great product all around, and it's not only popular with the gentlemen, but very popular with the ladies. So any of the Nike merchandise. And I know when I come to the clubhouse after the games, you stand outside the clubhouse, there are a lot of Chiefs, current Chiefs, that are parents right now. They've got kids running around. And for them, there's that portion of the wall yes. too, right? Let's from swing on lady, over here. From our lady section, we go into our little engineers. And we carry from infant through large and a child. So we have our popular mascot tees, pops. And we also have carry this in a scooch. And again, we have our Spanish shirt and our sign language shirt also for the kids. You're going away from the typical color scheme. We've got gray for the boys and pink for the girls. You, you have to have, blue for the have to have pink for the girls. Have to have it. And it's been a very popular addition. You're almost pink today, actually. I am. You're sort of salmon. Peachy. 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 Everything's peachy. peachy here. Yes, I guess it is. So as we go back up front here, here are mm -hmm. some national shirts, too. And I think the possibility that this guy is coming certainly excites some folks as well. Bryce Harper, and you can see his number over there on the one that Wendy's holding in the red and blue. Last year we were filled with Strasburg. This year we moved on to Bryce Harper. And these are selling very well. He's had a tremendous season so far. Not sure exactly when he's going to get here, but the key word we think is when, not if he's going to get here. Exactly, Jason. So we wanted to be prepared with our shirts. And so if folks are coming over here to the souvenir store, what sort of things should they know or maybe hidden gems here in the store? What, what have we seen that maybe they wouldn't notice or, you know, hasn't been a big seller yet, but you think maybe could be? I myself love this shirt. And I think this is a hidden shirt that hasn't really taken off, but I think it's it's a great shirt. It, if you notice the uh, ball player and the little child walking out into center field, the American flag, our logo, of course, I think it says it all about the game of baseball. 
Uh, baseball is the only sport where you'll hear God bless America routinely within the game. Yes. And, and for whatever reason, and it is the national pastime, but for whatever reason, America is sort of meshed with baseball. I think that's a pretty neat way it to is. put it together. I saw it this year at the winter meetings, and I just thought it was a great shirt to represent what I feel uh, Chiefs baseball is all about. Can people get information on what's on the store in the store online? Yes, we also have our website, and we carry exactly what we carry here in the store. So a lot of people ask me that, do you have different merchandise? Do you have the same merchandise? We carry every item on our website that we carry here in the store. That is just one click away, SyracuseChiefs.com. The only thing you don't get it's is the train itself. <laughs> Wendy, thanks for the tour. Thank you, Jason. It was a pleasure. All right, have a good day. That's Wendy showing. You can see her right here at the Whistle Stop Souvenir Store at Alliance Bank Stadium.